Hello YouTube. What we're going to try to do this evening is we've got a new toy to play with. This here is a we got it from Dewey Mister. It's a 14 side two gallon bucket lid with one and three eighths inserts. These inserts just pop pop in, pop out. They're not hard plastic, they're they're basically they're soft rubber. That was the only thing I couldn't tell from the pictures before I bought this. It's what kind of material it's made out of. Here's one of the inserts. It's basically the same exact thing as neoprene that you get. It's got the slit cut in it. It's rubber. It's a real thick rubber. Here's the bottom of it. Let's see if I can get that in the light just right. There you go. And once again, it just it pops right into the top of it. Now this one here has little lips on it. I don't know if you can see it yet. It's got little lips down inside it. Um, if you were cutting your own, that's what these little tabs are for right here. There's three tabs on each of these inserts. You got a, a tab and a tab and a tab. Plus the way it's made, it's it's beveled. So it should not push all the way through. Like I said it fits in there real good. I went ahead and got the bucket top that was already cut. Holes are pre-cut into it. And it fits right on top of the two gallon bucket. Just like it should. Snaps on and everything. Tonight, is we're going to see if we can get some seeds to germinate without using any medium at all. Now, I know that sounds strange. It sounded strange to me when I saw it on YouTube when Dewey Mister was telling us about it and everything, about this new product. So, I'm going to do exactly what he did and we're just going to see. We're going to catch it on camera. What I did, is I took a coffee filter and cut it just a little bit bigger than each one of the inserts. Just around it. It doesn't have to be perfect. So there's your square piece of coffee filter. Nothing special. Got them from the dollar store. Probably got a thousand of them for two dollars or something. Just cut it and poke it down in there. This way I'm hoping that when I put my lettuce seed, I'm going to try to germinate some lettuce seeds. When I put my lettuce seed in this little small hole here, what I'm going to do is get the coffee filter wet first. Put the lettuce seed down inside there. What I'm hoping is between the coffee filter being wet already and the dewy mister throwing water and air up onto the seed, I'm hoping that's going to keep it wet enough or moist enough and also dry enough to where the seed will germinate in two maybe three days. The, the longest it's ever taken me to germinate lettuce seed is about three days. And hopefully the roots will be strong enough that they can go down through the coffee filter. I just took the old coffee filter, laid the insert on it, and cut around it just where you should have enough coffee filter it, it completely surrounds the insert. You don't want it falling down in the bucket or you don't want your seed falling down in the bucket. And that's it. Just take it, pop it in there. We should be good to go. Actually, I'm going to do seven of these, so let me do one more real quick. I can say I am very, very impressed with the Dewey Mister so far. I've got two cloning buckets that I've made. And I use them to clone my tomato plants off the hydroponic and off the garden tomato plants. And Lord, you want to talk about getting some roots quick. Two or three days, you're already starting to see little white roots showing up. Leave it in there for two weeks. Just ready to plant. Once again, we're going to take this. Dunk it down in the bucket to get it moist. Put it right back in there. Got a super secret way to get lettuce seeds picked up. Take your toothpick and put it in some water. Now I'm not sure how this is going to work so I'm going to put more than just one seed in there. If we got to cut some out, so be it. Well, if I can get it to go down in there. 
probably two seeds per insert should work. I'm also kind of wondering if I might not have to put a heater down in there because normally we keep the house and the air conditioner down to about 70, 72, somewhere along in there. And when I'm germinating these lettuce seeds, I like to keep them up to about between 76 and 80. And normally they pop in about 24 hours when I'm seeing something. I'm also going to not cover these. And the reason I'm not going to cover these is I've done it both ways. I've taken lettuce seeds and put them in rock wool, which is normally what I germinate everything in in rock wool. This makes it easier to handle, put in the hydroponic systems. But I found that, at least in my case, just because it's covered, it don't speed up the process any. And in my case, the first couple of times I tried all this, I forgot about them. Well, I checked them that morning and said they'll make it till this afternoon. By the time I got back, they were two inches tall and nothing but a big old white leg. So now what we do is as soon as I put these lettuce seeds in here and get them where they're supposed to go, there you go. I'm going to put the dewy mister into the bucket, <coughs> put the lid on the bucket, and I'm going to put it up underneath the grow light we have, you can see it back there behind me. And this will also be the first time that I've used that grow light to germinate anything. It just came in the other day, and everything had already germinated, so I just wanted to see how, how well it would make things grow and get them up to where they would have some really good root systems on them. We're only going to plant half of them. So I'm going to see what this does. And if it does really good, and, and everything germinates in one, maybe two days, I'll go ahead and build the rest of it up. If it doesn't germinate in three to four days, I'll have to go back and try something else. But I've already got my, my two-gallon bucket here. I've put a, a gallon of rainwater in it. I've done pH, did it's 5.5. We're using Sensigro A, Sensigro B, it's a two-part mixture you had to put together. But we've got everything in here, it's pH, like I said, at 5.5. So, we'll get back with you in just a second when we get this dewy mister put in the bucket and put the bucket over where it's going to be and we'll hook it up and let her go. Alrighty. And there you have everything put together, kind of, sort of. Got our Eco One Commercial Air One pump. This pump is already driving. There's two Dewey Misters in, in here. Not sure if I can get this open or not. Two of them in there, which I've got turned off right now. I've got to make that one stick. This Dewey Mister here, it is Dewey Mister. It's most definitely keeping the top moist. You see, it's already dropping droplets off of it and shooting them out. So, all we get to do now is wait and see what happens. We'll do another video as soon as we see some changes or some germination or some sprouts or something. Thank y'all for watching and stay tuned for part two.